Funny, isn't it? So the man that refused me the apprenticeship is phoning man up years later to ask me about how to do a course because I've surpassed his knowledge now, isn't it? Funny how the world works, isn't it? I asked him for an apprenticeship and he turned me down because he thought man was going to be on a jolt team. A man can't, man couldn't see the talent or whatever, really. Man, man couldn't see that man was cut from a certain cloth. But years later, when man's passed him, now he's phoning me asking for advice, isn't it? Pussy, I'll go suck yourself in. So the apprentice becomes the master. This, 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 this definitely becomes a problem when this happens, when the apprentice uh, outshines the master. So, for example, you may have taekwondo, like, you know, in taekwondo, the student might actually become better than the actual instructor. The student might become better than the master, although the student learned everything he knew from that master, he might actually surpass him and become better than him, for example. But in this example, I'm not going to talk about taekwondo or martial arts. It's a real life experience, though. So, like, when I was an apprentice at Homes of Harry and Gale, man got all my qualifications, worked towards my qualifications, got all my qualifications and that. So I was a fully qualified electrician, level three. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a level four course, to extend and improve my knowledge. But before that, I had to do an inspection and testing course. And 70% of people that go for this exam fail. That's a 70% fail rate, not pass rate, 70% fail rate. It's not a difficult exam, but you need to fucking know that book. When they said to me, you need to study that book like it's your holy Bible, like the holy Bible, they were not messing around in it. No joke. Literally, you need to know this book back to front. Now, now, today, man forgot all of that. <laughs> but at the time, man had to study that book and study that book hard. So me, I'm a smart man. Before I started the course, which was, let's say, in January of whatever particular year, a few months before that, I got the book and I started studying the thing. I bought the book or whatever and I started studying the thing. Just to get a little heads up in it, because I knew, obviously, my tutors in college who taught me electrical installation told me, if you do the electrical inspection and testing, you're going to need to know that book. So I got my hands on that book. I think, I don't even know if I bought it. I think they gave it to me for free. Anyway, I got my hands on that book. And I was studying the thing for a couple of months before I started the course, just so, you know, uh, get a little head start. In it. Like they say in it, yeah, uh, the real superstars or whatever, in it, yeah, they they practice during pre-season, in it. So, yeah, uh, don't wait until the season starts to start training. Train before the season begins or whatever. In it. So boom, uh, hadn't even started this course yet, or well, I might have, but anyway, I'm with my mentor or whatever, innit? and um, yeah, I'm reading this book, trying to get a little heads up, head start in class or whatever, innit? you know, try to do the right thing. And my mentor is just a level three qualified electrician, innit? and for our job to be electricians at Homes of Haringey, we only need level three. They don't require us to be inspection and testing qualified. So anyway, man's going above and beyond. And on the team, there's probably 12 electricians, 15 electricians. Only two or three of the guys have got that qualification and they're older guys, isn't it? So for me to get that qualification, like they've been like, yo, you kept me, isn't it? Like, man's really out here. Uh, setting records and that, isn't it? because most men don't do that until they're like 40, 50 years old. And me, is just still a young fucking 21 year old, and man's really trying to up the levels like that. Isn't it? So, right then and there, I'll be out shining people, wouldn't it? So, anyway, boom, we're driving around in the van, and we're driving around in the van, like, we're not doing nothing. So, I'm going to use this time to read this book. So, you know what? Instead of talking so much, man's focusing in on this book, reading this book. And my mentor, he didn't like that, innit? He didn't really say nothing, but a man could tell, innit? Like, get me, innit? So, yeah, man used to just drive around in the van and just read this book, innit? Be engrossed in this book. And a man couldn't respect it, innit? So, boom. 
there was one time where we went to go and look at a property that needed to be rewired in it so a lot of electrical work needed to be doing so me and my mentor went to this pro this property now his uncle and his dad were in this property working so we got in this property remember it's an empty property so it's cold me i'm a black man man don't like the cold in it they're man they're white man they're man they're built for this weather in it yeah i'm not so we're in this property they're man are standing around talking about football and things that are of no concern to me so i said to him yo pass me the key let me go and sit in the van in it so boom man sat in the van i don't want to be listening to their conversation in it how's this situation helping me so boom got the key for the van gone and sat in the van man spun the engine making the engine run turn on the heating man want to be comfortable in it boom sitting in the van the engine's idling the van's running the engine's idling in it my man comes out of nowhere because i'm sitting in the passenger seat obviously in it so the driver's seat's free in it my man's come out of nowhere boom bust the door open and that in it yeah he's like, ah oh, you're wasting council's money because obviously if you let an engine run well it's burning fuel in it burning diesel in it turn the engine turn the engine off and took the key in it man's talking about wasting the council's money this guy's fucking dizzy blood he's fucking delusional this is the same man who used to take smoke alarms from the council that he didn't pay for that he stole he used to take smoke alarms and go to their local electrical shop and sell them so you're taking something that's not yours from the council because you're pretending to use it on your jobs and you're taking it to an electrical wholesalers to sell it and make an extra 60 pound off of it and a man's talking about wasting the council's money when you're stealing from the council what he was doing was a sackable offense literally that's pilfering you never heard that word before it means stealing that's a sackable offense me sitting in the van with the van idling a man will just say look turn the van off in it yeah? you're sitting in the van doing nothing in it. and a man wants to tell me that um, i'm wasting the council's money when he's teething from the council anyway um yeah so i carried on reading the book cool you want to be spiteful and take the key all right cool take the key in it man's still going to continue studying it because what i'm not going to do is i'm not going to engross and engage in this pointless conversation that ain't helping me i rather utilize my time and study in it I'm a, I, I rather study during work time when I'm doing nothing instead of having to do it during my own time. So then I get more time for myself and it makes more sense, isn't it? So boom, a couple of days have gone by. I'm still reading this book. And then one day, he must have just got pissed off. Some people don't like awkward silence. Yeah, I'm reading this book in his van, not doing much talking in it. So obviously he's quiet or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And, on the journey on because he used to drop man home in it used to pick man up in the morning he used to drop man home in it he said to me jay tomorrow i think you should bring your car in in it so i didn't even i just say all right then and i was going to leave it at that and i thought nah but what's your problem in it is that over the last couple of weeks or whatever in it yeah you've just been sitting there reading that damn book i'm like blood I'm trying to study, trying to get a heads up on this exam, innit? How can you even tell man, like, get me, why are you reading this book? And that? Uh, what's the matter with you? And he's like, oh, you don't you don't need to, to go for this qualification. A man's telling me, like, oh, what, what? asking me, questioning me, why, why are you going for this qualification? You don't need this qualification. Innit? What do you mean, fam? See, this is the small mindedness of people, innit? Yeah. See, this is the reason why people should not work for places like the local council. Because if you know anything about the local council, them jobs there is a job for life, you know. There's people who work for the council have been working there for 30 years. Literally, one of my managers, he'd worked there since he was 16. The man was 56, no, 52 at the time when I left, well, when I got fired. So he'd been there for 36 years. He'd never had a job anywhere else. When people work for the council, they think it's a job for life. So... I know this guy is still working there now and this has been made redundant or whatever. Isn't it? So in his head, 
you don't need that qualification because we're qualified enough for this job. I see myself working at this job for the rest of my life. So it's pointless for you because I see you as the same as me. It's pointless for you to get an, a more advanced qualification because we're going to be working there for the rest of our lives. No, you are going to be working there for the rest of your life. Man have greater ambitions and aspirations than working for Harry gave fucking council driving a white Ford Transit Connect van for the rest of my fucking life, isn't it? So man, and the problem with that man told me like, why? Uh, question me, why? Why are you reading this book so much? In it, you don't need to go for this qualification, in it. Basically, forget it. it? Ah, man. So anyway, we basically fell out over that. Yeah, a man got jealous because my knowledge was gonna exceed his. I was gonna know more than him. Um, yeah. So man, a man, a man, a man get jealous. Man get red eyed over situations like that. Hmm. I'm glad I just thought of this just now as well. So a man's got an older cousin in it. Yeah, he's an electrician in it. So he's a big man, older than my mum by a few years or whatever. He's an electrician. And he had a nephew who's older than me. So my, his nephew right now might be about 33, 35 years old. <laughs> yeah, Daniel, uh, that, Darren, my, my, my work colleague was uh, my, my mentor. He was my mentor. He was white. He was white still. <laughs> anyway. So boom, so my older cousin's an electrician and his nephew uh, was four or five years older than me. So at the time, man was like 14 and he was 18, let's say, in it. So my cousin got his nephew a job as an electrical apprentice. But if you know anything about black man, black man can't stick to nothing, in it. So after a year or something, man's not turning up to college, man's skipping days at work or whatever. In it. Boom. So anyway, they've let him go. He's not an electrician. Right now, he's not an electrician. So he never took the thing seriously in it. Dropped out of college. They got rid of him at work, whatever in it. So obviously, that being his nephew, he had probably faith in him, innit? So he's kind of messed it up for the rest of anyone else who's going to come behind him or whatever, isn't it? So, boom. So, I contacted my cousin and said, look, man, like, man's trying to find an apprenticeship, isn't it? And maybe because of what's happened with his nephew or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. He's like, nah, I don't want to take you on or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Now, he ain't said that to me directly. He just said, oh, they ain't looking for no apprentices, isn't it? In my head, man reading between the lines and that, isn't it? The way I see it is, a man don't want to bring me on because a man's going to think man's useless or whatless, like his nephew, innit? But a man don't realise this man here, or that you there, was cut from a certain different cloth. Get me in it? So, boom. So, um, yeah, he refused me the apprenticeship or whatever, innit? Cool. Not everyone's going to help you in this world, innit? But what's funny, innit? Yeah, listen to this, innit? Boom. So, that was years ago, innit, yeah? These times, man's 18, 19, innit, yeah? Boom. I've become a fully qualified electrician after two years, two and a half years, innit, yeah? So about three years after man's contacted him about the apprenticeship, innit, yeah? Man's become a fully qualified electrician, innit? Man's done the inspection and testing, innit, yeah? Guess who's phoned man up? My older cousin, who's just a level three qualified electrician. These times, I'm qualified to do inspection and testing. Man's passed the course. There's two uh, tests to do in it. So man's passed two. It's one course, but it's split into two. So man's passed two of the courses. He's phoned me up because he knew, somehow he knew that man's qualified as an inspector and tester. He's phoning me up to ask me about the exam, ask me how difficult it is, ask me like, you know, the ins and outs of how to study for the thing. Funny, isn't it? So the man that refused me the apprenticeship is phoning man up years later to ask me about how to do a course because I've surpassed his knowledge now, isn't it? Funny how the world works, isn't it? I asked him for an apprenticeship 
And he turned me down because he thought man was going to be on a jolt team. And man can't, man couldn't see the talent or whatever, really. Yeah? Man, man couldn't see that man was cut from a certain cloth. But years later, when man's passed him, now he's phoning me asking for advice, innit? Pussy, I'll go suck yourself, innit? Yeah. Mad how the world works. Mad how the world works, innit? So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's when the apprentice becomes the master, innit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Funny, a man turned man down. But then, then years later, a man's phoning me for knowledge. Hmm. Funny how the world works, innit?